for the first time in six months, guys. Wrestling has returned to the Jared Ross 2K9 channel. It has been six months. Um, I know a lot of people are wondering why I'm doing a Raw review on the Jared Ross 2K9 channel. And it's simply because I haven't uploaded a video in like, I think three weeks, four weeks. Um, as of from now, I will be uploading more videos on this channel. I actually, because I've actually noticed the subscriber count has actually gone up. Um, <coughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically that's what, um, the reason why I'm uploading a video. I will be doing more wrestling news on this channel as well. Um, still doing, obviously I'm still doing stuff in the arena, um, but yeah, I just need to make this video for this channel because it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and it returns for, from six months ago, it was the last time I even talked about wrestling. So, <clears throat> for all those people who are probably new to this channel, for all those people who don't watch what I do during wrestling, basically what I do is I will be talking about Raw, giving you all the facts that happened on Raw, and then giving my opinion. So, we're going to go straight into it. And, here is the Raw's rundown for October the 21st edition of Monday Night Raw. So basically, the whole show starts off, Triple H is there, and um, it turns out that um, Triple H and Stephanie Man were talking about respect, Big Show's not too happy about it, so he comes up via satellite. Maybe The Rock might be, maybe you know, maybe he's getting a wee bit of advice from Rocky. But um, yeah, it turns out that uh, Triple H has now um has basically been pissing off Big Show. Quite frankly, the storyline is lacking depth. I mean, you you talk the guts of like um, if you look at like Big, Big Show for example, this guy has been fired from the company. So in a story, you would clearly tr like you know have him burst in, then security immediately put him out. But him via satellite, I mean, what is it? Is Big Show now a master hacker or something? You know, clearly this story. And Don Banks said this in his raw review. Quite clearly, it has been it has been shown that these storylines are only for anyone below the age of fourteen. Um, and I think that, you know, these storylines are now getting a bit stale. Monday Night Raw, quite frankly, was the shittest. It was fucking terrible. Um, I don't think I've seen Raw that bad. It's probably since the Raw before, um, Battleground. I don't know what it is, but, I mean, you know that... that WWE don't see TNA as competition because if you look at the facts, they're just there's just no competition at all. They're not even trying WWE. Anyway, so um, Triple H then cuts Big Show off from the um, cuts him off via satellite, and um, yeah, that was that shit segment. Um, Dean Ambrose then faced um, Dean Ambrose basically faced. Uh, Daniel Bryan, um, Daniel Br this was a really good match, um, Daniel Bryan wins via submission, um, really, really good match, I actually really like that, um, uh, Bryan fought off Ambrose thanks to a blotched move, and more kicks, uh, he went down for a flying head but, but Ambrose slid out of the ring, um, all in all this is a really good match, um, really think Dean Ambrose shouldn't be getting buried, um, because the Shield are now on the back burner, believe it or not, I mean, you know, the Shield are, you know, they're just, they're, they're just lacking in depth now, the Shield, and they're not really getting the, what they deserve, I know they've been in, in the limelight for a long, long time, but, I don't, I still think the Shield still have momentum, anyway, Daniel Bryan wins, after the break, the best in the world, CM Punk graced us with his presence with a microphone in hand. CM Punk stayed on top of the stage, talked about his match against Ryback inside hell in a cell, guys. We all know what's going to happen. Uh, CM Punk will probably win this um, because, like I have previously said in the other videos, Ryback is due to face 
um, Biggie or Teddy Langston as I call him, Biggie Langston. So um, yeah, be interesting to see that. Um, anyway, Triple H and Vince McMahon are backstage. Um, Triple H and McMahon are backstage talking about Vicky Guerrero as they placed her in charge of Raw. Um, obviously, uh, Brad Malice got knocked out by the Big Show. Um, Michaels was also there and he seemed to understand but asked Triple H if he seriously thought that Brian didn't have WWE champion material. Um, really, really boring segment. Um, the next match, oh Jesus Christ. This match was fucking shit. Um, Heath Slater versus Santino Morella. I, I really think that Heath Slater, Slater should get more of a push as in a comedy standpoint. I think that Heath Slater is actually more funnier than Santino Morella. I, I, I don't understand how the Great Kali is... I don't understand why Great Kali and Hornswoggle is getting TV time when there's talent at the back that clearly have more talent than them guys and aren't getting shown on Raw. You know? I mean, you've got enough fucking kiddie stuff anyway in, in Raw, so why have that? The winner, Santino Morella. After the match, Santino jumped on the microphone and announced Jerry the King Lawler to his hometown and uh, and you know where, where the hometown that they were based in. Uh, Santino invited Lawler to get on top of the announce table with him for a rather silly moment between the two. Um, born, fucking born. Um, uh, Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, Orton Ziggler started the match with a low collar elbow tie up. Once they were separated by the official, Orton ducked out of the ring. Um, this went on. This is really, really good. This match was okay, actually. Um, Ziggler tried to hit Orton with a zigzag, but Orton held on to the ropes after being shaken off by Orton. Ziggler turned round only to be hit by an RKO at the end of the match. Your winner is Randy Orton. Um, Orton will be winning this match, by the way. I'll be doing a prediction show, maybe on Enter the Arena, um, but I do think Randy Orton is going to win Hell in a Cell, um, you know. Um, but anyway, AJ Lee and Termina versus the Bella Twins, fucking terrible. Um, the Bella Twins win with AJ Lee getting pinned. You're supposed to be building her up, and instead they're, they're just fucking doing this shit. It's ridiculous. Um, so the next match is the Watt family versus Kofi Kingston and The Miz. Um, really, really boring match. Um, didn't really care that much about it. Um, Miz gets beat up and the winners are the Watt family. Um, don't know what they're planning to do here. I mean, there's just no, I don't know what the Watt family are going to do. You know, you understand what I mean? There's no, re they need to add depth. They need to add, like, they need to give it a, a proper story. The Watt family can't just go in and beat up everyone and then that's it. You just can't do that. They have to, you have, basically they should explain what is it they actually believe in. That's what you should do. But instead you're just mindlessly getting them beating up people. Okay, so Curtis Axel versus Teddy Langston, as I call him. Um, fucking terrible match. Ended no contest. Um, not really the best match in the world. Um, and then this match led to CM Punk and Tilly Langston versus Co uh, Curtis Axel and Ryback. Um, this match was average at best. Um, Biggie Langston won the match by pinning Curtis Axel. He's getting buried a lot. Um, Another fucking tag match. It's fucking see the amount of tag matches that were in this this um on this raw is absolutely freaking ridiculous. The real Americans versus tons of funk. Jack Swagger and Sweet Tea started the match with Sweet Tea tossed around Swagger. Um, once Cesaro dropped, um, Brodus Clay with his um with his Cesaro swing, uh, Swagger. Snapped up the Patriot lock and forced Clay to tap out. Your winners are the real Americans. Um, really good to see they're actually pushing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good to see that they're pushing tag teams. 
this is probably the most tag team action that we've probably seen in the last three years. But, I mean, there's just no investment. They need a bit of investment in these matches so people can actually like it. And I do believe that if they want to make a big, big, fucking great tag team division, have all them teams at WrestleMania, alright, have them all, and let them beat the fucking shit each other in the tables, ladders, and chairs match. That's what I think should happen. Um, but obviously they're not gonna listen to us. The Shield versus the Uzos. Um, this ended in a contest, but was fucking weird. Is that they had the Uzos song playing? This was a fucking. This was terrible. Um, not really much. Didn't really care much about it. Um, the Usos eventually, um, eventually splashed the, uh, the, uh, the shield who were flying everywhere. Um, then a brawl happened and they were all fighting amongst each other. No meaning at all. The only meaning that it has is the shield against the, Ro the Rhodes brothers. That's it. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Um, the next se segment was Triple H. HBK, Stephanie McMahon, and Daniel Bryan, and Randy Orton. This quite possibly w was probably the worst. This was a this was a D minus of an ending. Basically, what happened is right. All right, I want you to, to, to visualize this if you haven't watched it. They're all talking left, right, and center. Um, couldn't really give a shit about it. And then at the very end of the show. They just copied Stone Cold Steve Austin's, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin's, whatever, we were seeing when he came in the truck. They copied that, and instead of, like, hopefully Stone Cold Steve Austin, it was the big show. <sighs> really, really boring. Um, really, really, really boring, actually. Um, but yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will be uploading more videos on this channel. Um, I know a lot of people here don't particularly watch wrestling that much. They kind of they kind of watch this channel for local. Um, kind of like local. You see when I do locally like in Crumlin and Northern Ireland and Belfast. Because, and, you know, I have been making videos for especially for that. But I think that because... Um, there's a lot of people here that are subscribed because of my wrestling videos, so I'm just going to continue doing that. Um, but yeah, um, Halloween special for the Joan Ross 2K9 channel will be next week. Um, the Halloween special for Enter the Arena will be that next week as well. And yeah, um, yeah, we're just going to be continuing making videos. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And um, please subscribe. There's a subscription button right there. Just hit like, dislike, whatever. It's up to yourselves. Anyway, this is General Jerry, as I'm known in um in Enter the Arena, and also Jared Ross 2K9. I haven't said that in a while. This is Jared Ross 2K9 and Enter the Arena US and uh, Jared Ross 2K9. Sign it out.